guys, welcome to Inside Forward. We are fresh off from King's Cup 3-1 loss for India. Let's talk about the positives in this game. First of all, I don't remember seeing the Indian team laying any long balls in the last game. The first half wasn't good enough for India. We weren't creating any chances. We lost position here and there and the players looked confused. But that's okay because it's a pretty new team under the new coach. It will take some time for them to gel in with each other as well as with the coach. And for me, the best man on the pitch for India in the last game was clearly Sahal. He had a beautiful debut. He showed maturity in his play in the last game. He was good with the ball, he did create some chances as well and he did his turns gracefully and most of all he was really brave in the last game. And in my opinion the most underwhelming player would be Lalian Zawla Chante as I think he should have done more. He was clumsy with the ball, he lost position pretty easily and was rightfully substituted after the first half. Michael Susairaj came in for Chante but he didn't do anything and fact fool himself. And now moving over to our captain Sunil Chetri, he is now the most capped Indian player of all time. And his penalty goal against Curaçao also made him equal with Muller's and Robikin's record of international goals daily. And he is now the second most international goal scoring active player today. And now if we talk about his performance against Curaçao, in my opinion he was largely missing from the game, he wasn't brought into the game that much as we would have liked to see and he is the most prolific goal scorer in the present team and he should have been utilized in a better way in my opinion. As for the problems I think defense still needs some work. Gurpreet alone cannot be blamed for the three goals that India conceded and I believe Rahul Bekia was played out of position. Adil Khan would have been a better option in my opinion. And that's it for today, thank you for joining me and do comment down below what's your take of the last game and what changes would you like to see for India in the next game. And if you like the video please do comment, like and subscribe and keep supporting Inside Forward, thank you.